All my life, I've dreamt of walking in the footsteps of the great Svengali's of rock and roll. I do a very specific kind of music here. I know, you're, well, you're a mod, like me. Wait, wait, you're a mod? Please tell me you are wearing that, ironically. It's basically, it's, uh, it's about this 40-something uh, mod who discovers a band online on YouTube, and he's always dreamt of being a great band manager. And uh, he's gonna, it's one last chance. It's just kind of like the Welsh Rocky, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> so he goes and sort of says, look, I'm gonna go to London with his, you know, solid, rock solid girlfriend, Shell, and to manage this band, take a chance finally, because he's a postman. He packs his job in and he goes for it. And uh, it's all about the fact that um, he goes to London and, and his, his best mate is a record company boss, and he thinks he's got an in. Of course, when he gets to London, things are very different to what he expects. He loses you know, lots of money very quickly. It's, it's just an expensive place to be, great city. But it's about the fact that the band then take off that summer. They become the hottest band in rock and roll. And uh, it's, it's his battle, you know, to try and, try and keep control of that and whether or not he can, you know, get them that legendary record deal or not. Give me six months, I'll get you a record deal. I think it's from my bottom of the life from where? I got fears. What's that then, mate? Right. Yeah. We'll make this gig like when the Pistols play the Under Club or when the Roses play the Hacienda. Hey! Oh, he's coming back! He's coming back! Quick! Johnny had heard me on the radio with Edith Bowman, and apparently I sounded quite funny. <laughs> um, so he thought I'd be good for Shell, and they contacted my agent, and they'd sent over the virals. So first, you know, first thing I did was watch them, and having a visual is a real bonus. It's a rarity you get it. So I watched those, and I was instantly entertained, and I thought they were absolutely brilliant. Um, and then I read the script. And I was like, I have to play this part. What are they called? The Premature Congratulations. Never heard of it. So we have the Scotsman over here and he's key. The Prems are going to be massive. You're trending on Twitter. And we have the Scots lady over here and she's key. Do I need you wet? So I don't think it takes a brainiac to work out what the next step would be. No, absolutely. Yeah. And if you can interrupt me again, I will set you on fire. I had like a 100% hit rate, which is ridiculous really. I, I wanted a certain cast, like I wanted Martin Freeman's girlfriend to be Maxine Peake. Because I always, I read that she was in the Northern Soul and obviously he's a very well-known mod. And I thought together they'd, they'd work really well. And they'd never worked together before, I don't think they'd even met. They uh, do make like the best on-screen, Everybody on -screen, says, you know, they're yeah. a great on-screen yeah. couple. Um, obviously there was other people like Michael Smiley I'd seen in Kill List. And I thought there's nothing, nobody more threatening than him in that accent. So, you know, perfect to play sort of the lone shark, Eddie Webber from The Firm. So it was all those people that I kind of had in mind, and we were very lucky with, with, with timings and things. More when a bank, I wanted, and, and they all fell out. I have fell to say, the place. scenes with um, when me and Johnny are playing drunk, and we play, we do the scene with Casey Brown. Oh, she's great, Katie. She? Like, she petrified me. I was so scared because her character was like is so frightening. Yeah. And she's so funny. Oh yeah, uh, Dixie Michelle, you to see the flat. One thousand one hundred seventy pounds a month, all up front. She said a thousand. Sorry, that's just kidding. Can we have a look at no, it first? Fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I've never seen anything like it. You know, there is other films that are about music, but it is very different. It is very funny. It has got drama. It's got so many different elements to it that I just want people to walk in and kind of go right. Okay, I'm not really sure. You know, don't judge it before you've even got there. Yeah. And I just. Just enjoy it. Enjoy it, yeah. And it's absolutely. got a cracking soundtrack. Yes, it has. It's got a belt in soundtrack. I mean it's been already people have been saying it's one of the best British soundtracks ever and the NME came last night and loved it, so I'm really pleased about that.